hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video we are going to discuss about endosymbiotic theory endosymbiotic theory okay so before starting this video i request you all share this video with your needy friends so that they will also benefit and subscribe this channel and be connect with us so let us start our video today our topic is endosymbiotic theory okay so what do you mean by this endosymbiotic means see here endo means inside and symbiotic comes from a word which means symbiosis or symbiotic association you know what do you mean what does this mean symbiotic association or symbiosis mean symbiosis means when two living organisms live together and both are benefited from each other then that is known as symbiosis when two species live together each other that means each other lives together and get benefited and get benefits benefits from each other that means both are benefited like your lichen you know what is the lichen in lichen lichen is the symbiotic association between fungi and algae fungi provides shelter and inside the fungi the algal part is present symbiotically that means fungi, fungi pro provide shelter to algae and algae as the photosynthetic in nature photosynthesis and provide nutrition to fungi so in this way both are benefited like that because like the, this this is the example of a symbiotic association so our theory our topic is endosymbiotic theory what is this endosymbiotic theory so endo means inside and symbiotic comes from word symbiosis so this endosymbiotic symbiotic theory explains that how a eukaryotic cell evolves that means it explain evolution of eukaryotic cell evolution of eukaryotic cell how a eukaryotic cell evolves so according to this endosymbiotic theory a eukaryotic cell evolves from a pre-existing prokaryotic cell okay pre-existing prokaryotic cell from a pre-existing prokaryotic cell a eukaryotic cell is evolved and this theory explains all the steps how this theory or sorry how this process of evolution from a prokaryotic cell to eukaryotic cell occurs and these steps we are going to discuss okay so till now you clear that what you mean by endosymbiotic theory endosymbiotic theory is the theory explains about the evolution of eukaryotic cell and this theory says that a eukaryotic cell evolves from their pre-existing prokaryotic cells okay so what are the steps it says that in the first step there was a pre-existing prokaryotic cell suppose this is the prokaryotic cell you know example of prokaryotic cells are bacteria etc so this theory says that there was a prokaryotic cell which have its nucleus nuclear region you know the nucleus of prokaryotic cell is not surrounded by any nuclear membrane and the region where nucleus is chromatin thread that is the chromatin thread is present that is called your nucleoid nucl eoid nucleoid the region where chromatin thread or nucleus is present in the pro, pro, in a prokaryotic cell that is called your nucleoid so this symbi endosymbiotic theory says that a prokaryote goes in size grows that means its size increases that means in the first step it grows in size grows in size and in foldings are developed and in foldings are developed d e b e l o p d in foldings are developed around thus are around this nucleus in foldings are developed around this nucleus in foldings are develops developed around the nucleoid region around the nucleoid region see this is the plasma membrane layer this is the cell wall this is the cell wall and this is the plasma membrane. so its size growth its size increases and this plasma membrane layer infolds or inwards fold inwards like this your fold inwards okay and suppose this is the nucleoid region suppose this is the nucleoid region and it create a outer layer 
suppose this is the layer uh, then suppose this is the nucleoid region around the nucleoid region this infoldings are form a outer layer okay so this infoldings which are infolded towards inner inner world this suppose this is the infolding suppose this is the infolding okay suppose these are some infoldings so these infoldings are gradually pinched off these infoldings are gradually pinched off or separates from the cell membrane or plasma membrane forming an endoplasmic system that means they are pinched off p i n c h d pinched off or separates separate from plasma membrane which separate the infoldings these infoldings separate from the plasma membrane and around the nucle nucleoid region forms an outer membrane this suppose this is the cellular layer and this is the plasma membrane layer and this infoldings separates from the plasma membrane and create a membrane around the nucleus so in this way a new type of cell is evolved where the nucleoid region or the chromatin thread surrounds by a nuclear membrane and this type of cell in which nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane is known as a new type of cell or a eukaryotic cell okay this is the new type of cell what's happen this new type of cell is generally also known as host cell okay inside this host cell in the next step according to this endosymbiotic theory in the next step a n aerobic sorry a aerobic bacteria an an aerobic bacteria that aerobic bacteria is a proteobacteria type proteo bacterium bacterium is singular so if you writing an that means we are writing in singular form that's a an aerobic bacterium r i u m an aerobic bacterium that is a proteobacterium enter into this eukaryotic cell as prey or parasite as prey or parasite and manage to avoid any type of digestion so it avoid any type of digestion it avoid any type of damage to it and it survive inside this host cell okay suppose this is the host cell i am dra drawing this diagram suppose this is the host cell and inside this a proteobacteria enter suppose this is the proteobacteria okay so when it, it enter inside it it avoid any type of digestion it avoid any type of damage and survives inside this as an endosymbiont okay and survived as endo symbiont endo means inside symbiont means the organism which survive as in a symbiosis uh, in, in a symbiosis association the organism which survives in a symbiosis association then eventually this endo symbiont proteobacterium gives energy to the host cell gives energy to host cell as it is aerobic in nature so it create aerobic respiration so in aerobic respiration it gives oxygen and makes this environment oxygen rich so in this proteobacterium makes the environment oxygen rich and create a oxygen rich environment inside this host cell inside this new type of cell so this proteobacterium which enter inside this this is the proteobacterium this is the proteobacterium this proteobacterium is aerobic bacterium which release oxygen and makes this environment oxygen rich and this proteobacterium eventually develops into or this eventually becomes mitochondrion okay this eventually becomes mitochondrion then similarly in the next stage another type of another type of photosynthetic bacteria in the next type another type of photosynthetic bacteria another type of photosynthetic bacteria suppose this is the nucleus surrounded suppose this is the mitochondrion or prosymbiotic um, your uh, pro proteobacteria 
my mitochondria which becomes mitochondria inside this another photosyn photosynthetic bacteria entered and this photosynthetic bacteria is generally a cyanobacteria this photosynthetic bacteria is generally a cyanobacteria or also known as a blue green algae so when this cyanobacteria enter inside this host cell it capable to utilize sun energy solar energy and able to photos able and able to make photosynthesis so this photosynthetic bacteria or blue green algae or cyanobacteria when enter into the host cell it able to trap the sunlight and make um, make your glucose molecules so this photosynthetic bacteria is gradually converts into chloroplast okay so um, like your mitochond like your uh, proteobacteria similarly another photosynthetic bacteria that is cyanobacteria enter into this host cell and this became your chloroplast okay so this provide glucose as the product of photosynthesis this this is capable of photosynthesis that's why it provide glucose as the product of photosynthesis this provide glucose as the product of photosynthesis this provide oxygen to the environment gradually this uh, this is a new type of cell is formed from the pre-existing cell where the nucleus is surrounded by nuclear membrane by in due to the infolding of the plasma membrane and pinch of or separated and make, make a nuclear membrane then another type of uh, proteobacterium enter into this host cell either as prey or as anything uh, um, and leaves survive inside it as endosymbiont then another type of a bacteria photosynthetic bacteria or that, that is a blue green algae or cyanobacteria enter into this host cell and become your chloroplast so like that inside a single cell nucleus is present surrounded by a, a nuclear membrane for chloroplast mitochondria both are present gradually other cell organelles are generated and in this way from a prokaryotic cell a new type of eukaryotic cell produced okay so this is the endosymbiotic theory explained briefly very simple there is a prokaryotic cell act as a host cell uh, cell membrane starts infoldings makes a nuclear membrane then a proteobacterium enter inside this act as a mitochond uh, mitochondria because it is aerobic uh, it is capable to uh, respirate aerobically that's why then another type of bacteria enter that is a photosynthetic bacteria or blue green algae it capable to trap sunlight and capable to do photosynthesis that's why it provides glucose this mitochondria provide oxygen makes this environment inside the cell oxygen rich and other cell organelles are developed and that's why in this process from a prokaryotic cell a eukaryotic cell is develops so this much in this video very short concept very important concept so i hope you all are benefited so we'll see in the next video another topic we discuss another topic in the next video so till now thank you so much Okay.